Hi, I'm Ken Spector with Happy Cow, and we're here in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Health, Healing, and Happiness Expo. I'm here with Dr. Greger, and he is a physician, an author, a nationally renowned lecturer, and he's the founder of nutritionfacts.org. What are the top three myths that vegans have about nutrition? Probably the number one myth is that vegan automatically equals health. I mean, I go speak at these college campuses and, you know, vegans are living off french fries and beer, you know, and uh, vegan foods for sure, but not necessarily health promoting. People eating plant-based diets have to actually eat plants. Um, and so they should be having fruits and vegetables and legumes and, uh, you know, nuts, seeds in their diet. So uh, we need to eat our veggies. Um, it's not automatic that we're going to have healthier diets. Mm -hmm. Number two uh, health uh, myth is vitamin B12 um, is critically important. Um, all people eating plant-based diets, even just lacto-ova vegetarians, need to ensure a regular, reliable source of vitamin B12 in their diets. Absolutely no question. Um, it can have serious uh, consequences otherwise. And third, I think people have the sense, well, okay, if you do the nutrition piece, then that's it. Mm -hmm. That's all you have to do for health. But no, we really do need to exercise, wear our safety belts, bike helmets, practice safe sex, all the other things, but there's, you know, I go through the top 15 causes of death and a lot of them are diet related, but things like accidents and things aren't necessarily. So um, you need, we, all, we all need to, to practice good healthy habits in addition to eating the healthiest diet on the planet. Regarding uh, vegetables, yeah. do you recommend raw, cooked, or a combination thereof? Whichever way will get you to stuff your face with as many of them as possible. You like raw broccoli, raw broccoli. You like steamed broccoli. You know, so, you know, the, the steaming process, for example, you know, cuts vitamin C content of broccoli by about 15%, mm -hmm. you know? So, but if you like steamed broccoli, fine, eat six florets of steamed broccoli instead of five florets of raw broccoli. And get all the, you know, I mean, basically it's however you like it to get it into your mouth with the exception of deep frying, which is unhealthy, kind of regardless of what you're deep frying. Terrific. Thank you so much, Dr. Greger. Be sure to check out Dr. Greger on nutritionfacts.org. He has incredible videos and an exorbitant amount of information. Check him out and check out happycow.com. Thank you. I'm Ken Spector. Bye-bye.